Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I would like to talk about how to fix. While Thunder is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, freezing, stuttering, lagging, FPS drop, stuck or loaded screen, and even many more issue. So how we can fix this? So let me directly get into the step. The first one is all about what we need to do. We just need to start with a simple restart. So just go over here to the start icon. Now just go over here, do a simple restart. Once the restart is done, just right now the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So if you don't know how to navigate to it, I'll be showing you one step. That is, if we have a shortcut, just right click on the game, go to the properties, install it file, and just click on the browse. And right now, as you can see, if we click on the ball, that one, that will take you directly to the installation folder. So as you can see, just close this and it is unlocking this E. So just go over here in the my, uh, file explorer, go to this PC, navigate to local disk E, go over here in the Steam library, go to Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, you can see War Thunder, just select this one. And we need to launch the game from here. If you scroll down, you can see this is the launcher. So try launching the game from here. But it's an important step. So instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching the game from the installation for that. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator. And also we need to try it in the compatibility mode. Hence within the installation folder, I'm going to show you that as, a, a, that as well. So just right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties. Now from here, compatibility, and from here, we just need to click on run the game in the compatibility mode and make sure you first try with Windows 7. And if that is not working, try changing this to Windows 8. Now go for apply and also you can try run the game as an administrator as well. Go for apply and go for OK. And once everything is being set, try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to Make sure one thing, we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. Now from here, click on this one. And right now, we need to go to system and security. Go to the Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or future through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to War Thunder. Now it will be available over here at the bottom. So War Thunder is added, so make sure put a check on both the private and public. This is very important. So this is how we are uh, in, uh, just adding the .exe to Windows Defender Firewall. So make sure the War Thunder is added. And once it is added, make sure, make sure that you have put a check on both the boxes, private and public. Now just move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to Unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals. We might be connected with external joysticks. We might be connected with external mouse. We might be connected with external keyboard and many other peripheral external devices. Additional external devices. Just unplug everything. Afterwards, try launching the key. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here. Search for the system and configuration. Just click on this one. Now from here, go to services, disable all, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply, go for OK. Do a restart, then try launching the game. Also try deleting the saved game file if it is if you did so. So just go to the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to the documents. You'll be having folder like for War Thunder, like Rockstar game is an example. You'll be having folder for War Thunder. If you have the folder, just delete it. Keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions in the game. So just do this and once afterwards, try to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. Make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game. This should be turned off. Now we just need to try to launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here to give the commands in the launch option. That is the X11. Or you have to try with DX12, or you have to try with V3, V2. So you can try the X11, the X12, or D3, D2. Any one of these things can be done. 
And after trying with these commands, still if you are having the trouble, you can remove the command, keep it made, and you can move to the next step. Next step, we need to do a uh, this one. We need to do a perform clean boot should be done. So just go over here. Now from here we have to go to system configuration. Now go to the services, disable all, hide all Microsoft services, apply and go for OK. Do a restart, then try Unjil again. Stay if you're having the trouble, we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the start, right click, go to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So right now, there are 56 apps running in the background, which is all affecting your performance. So just remove everything. Once everything is removed, all the unwanted things should be removed. And afterwards, try to launch the game. Because these things running in the background, simultaneously, if you're trying to launch the game, you're going to have a crashing issue. So just remove all the unwanted things. Now just close this and try to launch the game. Next one, we need to increase the virtual memory. Just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced settings, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is unchecked and select the inst uh, lock disk where the game is installed. In my case, it is E. So go over here, go for custom size. We need to give the value for the initial size and the maximum size. So initial size is nothing but we need to give the value that is 16 GB should be given first and it should be multiplied with a constant value 1024. Multiply it with 1.5 that is 24, 5, and 6. Now we have to go to the maximum size that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to try to change the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for graphics settings. Just click on this one and what we need to do is we need to add the game. Just click on the add desktop app and now we need to this PC go to local this e steam library steam amps common now from here scroll down and navigate war thunder now from here we have to add the game that is this is the launcher so just add the launcher now just scroll down you'll be most probably able to see this just go over here and expand this make sure the gpu preferences should be set into high performance and once it has been set into high performance close this try launch the game Still, if you are having the trouble, you can try updating the graphics card. Just go over here in the link to the NVIDIA and to the NVIDIA and the AMD. So the NVIDIA users go to this page, select everything. Here I have already selected, but mine is GeoForce. It is not Titan, NVIDIA, RTX, or any other. It is GeoForce. I have selected the series. It is GeoForce 16 series. So I have to select it. And it is GeForce GTX 1650. The routes are selected and it is on Windows 11. So I need to go for find. Now I'll be getting a bunch of details where I need to download this particular driver version and I need to install it. So this is the driver version. So I need to download this one, which is the file size is around 732.88 MP. Go into the AMD, just go to the graphics, select Arduino RX over here, go to the 5000 series. Now from here, go to the segment. And now we need to download Windows 11. If you're on Windows 11, if you're on Windows 10, try downloading this one. Going to the Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here. We need to download the Microsoft Visual C++. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, we can download this one. Moving to the next one, we need to try the next one. That is, we need to update the Windows, make sure the Windows is up to date. And there are a few more steps that can be done. Even still, after trying this, if you're still having the trouble, we need to verify the game file. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, installer file, and just click on the verify integrity of game file, which is going to cross check every single file of a game. And if any cards of uh, any files are corrupted, and if any files are missing, and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So, uh, you know, issues can happen even if any kind of files are corrupted, if any files are missing, if any files are damaged, and we'll be having the trouble. So just do this step. This is an important one. We're just gonna take a bunch of time. So after this, I'll be showing you a few more steps as well.
it's once all files are successfully validated just use this and try and use the key last and the least step we need to uninstall the game go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game and you need to reinstalling it back and should be installing it back on the local disk not e you have to try either local disk b or you have to try local disk c i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye